A long-term review of the TaylorMade TP5 picks. Let's do it. And let's do it now. I'll throw the ball, but it's already broken the camera. So I'm gonna throw a head cover instead. Nearly. Oh. I've got another one. Oh, how's that missed? <laughs> Hi everyone, James Robinson here. Guys, first things first. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel, or to the channel if you are new to the channel. If you are new to the channel, Mark, what do they have to do? If you're really excited about these videos, which I hope you are, yes. please subscribe. Hit that subscribe like button. If you, if you possibly can. Like if you can. Make sure you subscribe to future events. Like it. I've no. Oh yeah, that's a good one, that. Because people say that it gets a bit monotonous, the intro. So. Oh, it's, it's James, isn't it? It is James. It's James, it's James it? and it's daily, but today, TP5X picks, or TP5 picks, depending on what you'd play. Yeah. Long-term review, is it good? Is it different? Is it a bit of a um, marketing ploy gimmick? Or does it actually work? Mm. So we'll find well, out. I've, I've, not, I've not played played the ball at all. I've, I've used it on the putting green a few times. Yeah. And I, I can certainly see the, the roll on the green. And interestingly, I mean, Mark, you have this isn't a long-term review for you, is it? I've been using yeah. this a number of months. You're using it first time today. So we're going to give you an in-depth long-term review. I've been taking notes up here. But we're also going to give you a, a kind of... We're also going to give you a short-term first re review for yourself, aren't we? So, uh, right, I'll lead us off. Okay. So first thing is, what I don't do is use any of these patterns for anything apart from, um, well, identifying that it's my ball. I do actually quite like the feedback you get on the putting green, but we'll cover that when we get to the putting green. But when I tee it up, I don't use anything. I don't use the lines for anything. I just put it down where it is and, and that's that. Because sometimes you can try and line them up off the tee, can't you? But not for me, that mark. I'm a two, by the way. What number are you? Just in case you hit one past me up there. Number one, of course. Number one. It's just another fairway. Strike. Just another fairway hit, Mark. Nice oh. Any thoughts looking over it initially? Does it look, some people say it's there to make the ball look a bit bigger. I don't get that. I, I don't think it makes it look bigger. I just think it's, it's just easier to see. I mean, it's, it's broken up. Yeah. Just a white, solid thing. Identifiable, isn't it, yeah, I suppose it's, you'd it's say. A extra, so it looks pretty good to me. Oh, what a shot. Absolutely wonderful, Mark. Maybe that's been the answer all along. That works. That's why you're not single figures, Mark, I think. So guys, one thing which I hugely forgot about, and I can't believe I forgot this, I haven't even told you this. So TaylorMade have given us a bunch of trial packs of the Pix balls for people to use. So 10 people who watched it, it might be 10 or 15. I can't remember, that's bad though, isn't it? 10 or 15 people who watched this video, guys. I think it's 15. I'm sure we said 15. 15 people who watch this video, guys, will get, receive a pack of trial TP5 Pix balls. I'm not sure exactly how many, I think it's about kind of half a dozen to a dozen. Guys, if you do want that, make sure you do like this video. You have to be a subscriber to the channel and just comment below PIX, P-I-X, because obviously you're watching this video because you want to know my opinion on the TP5 PIX, which is great. But I want to know your opinion. So guys, I want you to try them, test them, play with them, lose them like I have. We'll come to that. <laughs> and then let me know, guys, on Twitter, on Instagram, tag TaylorMade in there and just have a bit of fun with them. Uh, also, there's a small matter of a TaylorMade SIM giveaway, which I'm well aware I haven't drawn yet. So we'll draw it now, so we'll get in the office and have a look. Right, there you go, and congratulations to whoever won that. I haven't drawn it yet, so I can't say that I know, but I will know later when I edit it, so congratulations to you. Um, just get in touch and we will send you the tailor-made SIM driver in your specs. That's a nice little bonus mark, isn't it? That's a brilliant bonus, yeah. Lovely bonus. Um, right, we'll get back to talking picks balls, I think, now. So, Mark, I know that you've said this is your first time using the tailor-made TP5 picks ball, but is it your first time using the TP5 ball? No, I've used TP5 a few times actually uh, recently and I, I do quite like it. Yeah? Because yeah. I started using TP5 ball at the beginning of this year, then actually went for a driver fitting and got fitted into the TP5X ball to right. brought the spin down a little yes. bit. I know yeah. high spin can be a bit of a thing for you, so maybe yes. the TP5X. I mean, Pix is just one of those 
picks as picks, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. it's got some nice colours on it. We'll get to what I think the benefits are as we kind of go through the hole here, or the holes. Um, but the ball itself, I think, don't, don't categorise it as a bit of fun because it's got some colour on it. The ball itself is very good. And you see guys, one of the, oh, nearly went. <laughs> and you see guys, one of the biggest positives for me actually, we won't see in this video, because we're both using the TP5 picks. And generally what I find is when I play with anyone, usually, usually I'm the only person that uses them. Right. So when I'm walking up to my ball, I can probably tell from about 10 or 15 yards away that it's my ball. Yes. And that's a huge, it just, I don't know, it just gives you that extra little bit of time to prepare for your shot, to think, right, I need this club, the wind's doing that, maybe it's lying like this. Yeah, definitely. And actually I find as well that you might see this with your ball in the rough. I won't because mine's in the fairway, Mark, but... Well, you're on the fairway, yeah. <laughs> I'm only joking, I'm only joking. But actually, it can help you decide on your lie as well a little bit. So looking at Mark's ball here, he's only in the semi-rough, it's not too bad, but the, the kind of pattern on the ball yep, definitely... It's nicely, it's sitting, sitting up a little bit. It gives you a little bit of a visual aid on depth perception, yep. doesn't it? It's not deep in the, in the grass at all, I yeah. can see that. Yeah. Right, what have we got? Must be about 1.30. It's actually a good hit that mark because I'm only there and I thought I got that quite well. I'm only 100 past you. Joking. Well, I've, I've played 18 already. You have, you have. You know what? I don't think I'd be out here if I'd have played 18 anyway, but. Attempting a, 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 a gentle 9 iron. Oh, I know why you're doing this. So if you follow Mark on Twitter, you'll know that he played the other day and he went, How many clubs did you go out with? I went out with half a set. And I'm going to put your tweet here now because you played really well, didn't you? Well, yeah, I played under par. Just with half a set, and that's that's amazing, isn't it? But but you know we're digressing again, Mark. We're digressing again. Yeah, well it's all it's all about helping helping guys that, that watch the channel. Yep, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Think about different things, isn't it? Yeah. And I'm, I'm trying to do that myself anyway. So yeah. I'm hoping it helps. I think it does. I always play well with half a set. Oh, how could how good could this be? Wonderful. Middle of the green, just a little bit right, but, on, little but bit good. Right. Yeah, little bit right. Very nice. So guys, as well as commenting picks because you do want to be in with a chance of winning the kind of trial set that we're sending out there, also comment below, have you used them yet? Do you use them? Do you use them religiously? To be honest, I do now. Like, it's the only ball that I've been using for quite a while. You may have seen on my Instagram that I got quite a few dozen. Um, I was just telling Mark, there isn't that many of them left, Mark. I've lost. Have some, and he hasn't, obviously. It must be something to do with the ball, though. It must be something to do with the pattern that I've been losing golf balls. Really? No, I'm clutch. That, that's the one. That's the one, yeah. Someone actually ducked over there, then. Did you see? <laughs> <laughs> and you see, with it being an in-depth review, I think it's vitally important that I look at positives as well as negatives. So, I'm just getting a few of these out here now. And Now, I'm not going to lie. They have... Some of them have marked up quite a lot. Um, and I have honestly, well, I did have, I had a couple. Um, I mean, that's just a, that's a, so this is a smiley face from, uh, from a thin bunker shot. So that's nothing to do with the ball, but that, I'll show you this in a second, Mark. That's obviously just where the kind of pattern's worn away a little bit. Now, I don't know if that's, yeah, I don't know if that's yeah. bag clatter that's done that or if it's the actual shots, but I had one that didn't have the colour orange on it. It was just all, yeah, I think it was like a misprint. And I, I, you should have kept that. Funnily enough, fu valuable. well, funnily yeah. enough, I thought, you know what, I'll keep, I, I thought, this is funny, I thought I'll keep it, but it was the only ball I had on a tee further back. Oh dear. Four left, ball gone, oh, no. ball gone. And I've not seen one like it since. So they're not all perfect. I'm not saying that that matters. It didn't really bother me at all, but. 94. That's a nice little gap wedge, I think, for me today. I've been getting some action with them. You can still get spin around the greens with the TP5X. That's definitely not a problem at all. This will, this honestly, this will raz back this. That's landed long, hasn't it? So it'll be interesting to see. Really enjoyed that strike. Ugh. This will raz back. Is that English? I don't know if it is. Mm, well. It's nearly there. Can we have a moment's, a moment's appreciation? I've just tapped this divot down and seen for my shoes as well, because they are 
I mean, for any, for any Adidas fans, we addressed it in the video we've already done, didn't we, Mark? Uh, and if you do want to see the video on this, it's quite special. That is on the channel now, so yeah, you are, aren't you? There are a bit of you, though. Uh, yeah, the video that we've just filmed is on the channel now. It is a very, very, very special putter in com com commemoration of a Mr. Usain Bolt. So very, very good. I'm excited. I think that's close. I think you're close as well. You're sitting closer than I am. We can see yours actually now. Yeah. Um, so you're using the TP5X picks at the moment now, this very second. Yes. Not at the moment in general, but now. Have you felt it hard? No. A difference in sound at all? No. I wonder if that's because of the weather, because it's really warm. But when I made the change, made the switch, TaylorMade did this big switch thing, didn't they? But, yes, they did. Um, it did feel hard initially. It took some getting used to. Okay. Okay. But if you do override that and just keep playing with it, you generally get used to right. it quite quickly. Yes, I've not. I've... Oh, it's long. It's not come back. Oh, I might be close to that. I think you might be. <laughs> I honestly, I'm going to find that pitch mark. I honestly thought that was going to fly back. So yeah, for anyone wanting to see a little bit more of this, then that is on the channel now and it is quite, uh, quite cool. What's it done? Has it come back? Nice. Uh, what? Well, I mean, the greens are sandy as you can see, but usually that would give me a little bit more. Quite disappointed with that. Well, I think it's still on you, Mark, to be fair, but... Have you got a shot here? Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll go with yeah. I've got no idea, but yeah. Oh, did you line that up? Good. How did you find the feedback from, you know, from the pattern? Because yeah, if we look at the ball, the actual line is still on quite a, it's on the line of what it should have been, isn't it? Because it was just missing to the it, right. Yes, I put it on that line. Uh, it's, the ball's tipped over, um, but that's, I think, and, because and of the growth on the green. It's just tilted as it does. Yeah, so it's gone over end over end. Yeah, it's gone end over, yeah, it's gone over end over end. Yeah, it's gone end over end, but then it's just kind of tipped at the last second it's because the last of the, because yeah. the greens. Did you, were you, did you find yourself fumbling for the side print at all? When I first started using it, obviously this is the only ball where it says tailor-made on one side, TP5 picks on the other, and it doesn't say tailor-made, tailor-made picks. Does that make sense to you? Yeah, yeah, I didn't didn't have a problem with that. No, no I, I did, but anyway. Straight, straight to that. Um, I'll give you that, Mark. That's in my circle of friendship for most people, that one. I mean, in total fairness, I have been holding a lot of putts. And I don't put it down to the ball, but it does look miles better on camera. And I'll put some on screen now for people to see. Um, come on. And looking down at it, you know, it does... I mean, I don't know if I've just got used to it now, because I've used it for so long, but I do really like... The kind of little logos and pictures and fixation marks. I've got another one. Oh, how's that missed? Oh. Honestly, that was. It looked in all the way. Oh. One down. And again, again, did you see the end? It was a nice yes. bit of feedback, wasn't it? Good put, maybe didn't give it enough break, evidently. Pace was good, strike was good, roll was good. So you, that, that's where you know you move on. Yeah. And that's exactly what Ricky Fowler was hoping to make with this ball. Yeah, he wanted it to make it cool, make it fun, make it orange, but also we want you to get feedback as well. And I do think it gives you that. Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you see, I know I do laugh and joke about holding a lot of putts and putting well at the minute, but to be honest, I am holding, holding a lot of putts and putting well at the minute. And if people are putting bad, we're very, very quick to say, oh, I'm putting rubbish. Yeah. So I want to keep kind of professing that I'm putting quite well, even if it's not necessarily for you guys watching, but for me at home. And definitely having that feedback, it, I'm not saying it's making me hold more putts because it's definitely not, but it's giving me the confidence to say if I've hit a bad putt, mm -hmm. I know why I've hit a yeah. bad putt. Because yeah. if, if that's all skew wiggled and over the place, skew wiggled. It's the scientificness of this channel, <laughs> as Alex Sessions would say, I am science. If this is all skew wiggled, then you haven't made a very good stroke. You've cut across it, no, you've come right. inside. Definitely. It's got a little bit more side spin on it, if that's even a thing, I'm not sure it is. But um, yeah, but if it's a correct roll, it's not squiggled, you've it got does, the wrong line. It does give you a lot of feedback if, if you're that way inclined. Yeah. Certainly. Whereas some people might just like it for the sake of the color on the ball. Yeah. A lot of people have said actually that the, the spin when the chip in looks quite cool. I don't buy that that's feedback because a ball always spins when you chip, but um, it does look quite cool, right. 
We're going to keep talking about these a little bit, but mainly I'm going to get myself back in this game. Another two holes, par five, par three. Par five, par three. Who's going to win? Let us know. There was a tee there. I love that. Yeah, I'm hitting this well as well at the minute. Full of confidence at the minute. And you know what? Another funny story. So I had one of these, or a couple of these, where the TP5X, you know when you line it up for a putt? So like, so like this bit here where you would be lining it up for a putt, there was one of them and it wasn't actually straight. It was like had a curve to it. Right. Like as though it was a little bit off. I've had a couple of them. Um, and actually, I was going to keep it, but I was on a par 40 and four left. So I lost it again. But I know people won't believe me, but like I showed it to Chris and I was like, is that square? And he went, no. And then I lost it on the next yeah, hole, but I wanted well, to keep it for this video to show people. That's a shame. I mean, that, that's, that's really unfortunate. If, if, if the, the item that's specifically put on the ball, to, to a, if you line up, isn't straight. Isn't straight. Yeah. I, no, that definitely did have that's that as well, but it's just on his feedback mark, yeah. isn't it? That's all it is. Unbelievable that I've lost both the balls that actually had imperfections, isn't it? It is. There's a reason for that. Yeah, it's like the tailor-made god said, um, no. They were, they were imperfect. Yeah, so. Would that bother you? Would it bother you, you know, like if you had a... If you paid like 13 quid for three? Once, once, I'd, once I'd seen it, yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, I wouldn't have been happy at all. In the practice bag. Oh, Mark, you are swinging the best I've ever seen you swing. And I also think that's come out quite nice and low spinning as well, hasn't it? It's, it's, I think it has, yeah. Yeah, a nice and more penetrating yeah. ball flight than maybe what you would usually see. Yeah. If you do want a low spin ball, the TP5X Pix is a, it is pretty nice. I mean, the TP5X, the Pix is just a, a picture, but... I've just put two and two together why it's called Pix, because it's got pictures on it. Really? Yeah, that's honestly... <laughs> that's honestly just coming... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Lol. Oh, lovely. Lovely shot. Oh, perfect. I can't believe I've only just worked that out. Pics. Pictures. Has pictures on it. I was thinking pixels. It's made out of pixels. That's what I always thought. Or even Pixar. I just thought Ricky Fowler liked Toy Story. Well, and Monsters yeah. Inc. <laughs> Pixar is, is obviously uh, is, um, but, it, but it's obviously it's, it, but it's a CAD CAM design, isn't it? Is it CAD CAD computer aided design? It's got to be, isn't it? Um, anyway, anyway, welcome to my world. So, Mark, obviously, with you trying them now, that's hopefully what the guys at home, the fifteen people, is, is fifteen, the fifteen guys at home who will win that kind of little trial set. Um, you're you kind of using a trial set now. Do you feel like trying them over a few holes would convince you to maybe move into the ball because of the logo? Not necessarily because you're trying to pick a TP5X instead of a TP5, but purely for the logo. I think so, yeah. Yeah? I mean, certainly, certainly um, against my usual ball, uh, it's going, at, you know, I'm hitting it the, the same, uh, as well. Mm -hmm. um, it, spin and everything else seems to be about the same for me, yeah. at my level. Um, but I do like looking at looking at the ball. Yeah. yeah, I must admit, I really, really, really enjoy knowing it's my ball from 10, 15 yards away. That's like the reason why I use it. Yeah, the absolute reason why I use it. And walking down here now, we've both hit shots on the same line. So I'm annoyed now that you're using one as well because it's gonna. Oh, I'm a, I'm a three, you're a one. It takes like that extra few seconds. Well, that's what everybody else does. I know, but I don't want to be able, that's why I use it. Also, a little disclaimer, if you have found a TP5 Picks at Huddersfield Golf Club, at Woolley Park Golf Club, anywhere on the south coast, because the last week it was probably mine. Because I've shedded a few, like, a lot. I found one last week. Did you? It's probably mine. That's why I don't have golf balls with my name on. You know, so obviously, I spoke to Mark Crossfield about this. He had the golf balls with his face on. Right. Um, and I think he had a little bit of a thing where if people found them, they had to tweet it. Oh, my Twitter would blow up. <laughs> because people would just find them everywhere. I used to have golf balls with my name on, and I was like, it put me under more pressure, yeah, yeah. more stress. You shank one over there, and you're like, I better find that, because otherwise people will know I've hit no, it there. No, anyway, fine. someone's hit the fairway mark, and someone hasn't. No, 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 no. That's not the fairway, that's on the edge. I'm saying that left one's fairway. And you see, this is about, so wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Now, now is when I would know if it's my ball or not, because I can see the logo from here. Can you see it? I can. Yeah. 
Uh, actually, I could probably see it from, if I really wanted to, I could make it out from here, just. I'm pushing it here, but why am I here, about 30 yards away? With contact lenses and older eyes, I can see it from back here. Yeah, <laughs> um, but now we actually have to decipher who's number, I'm a three, are you a one, did you say? Yeah. Yeah, right. Well, straighter. Um, I'm claiming that's a fairway hit if it is. Oh no, one. That's you. So you, you missed the fairway there, Matt. <laughs> Look at that. So again, they're looking, you know, I said about the, the logos helping you with depth perception. Depth perception. Yeah. Definitely with that light, it's giving me a bit more visual feedback. Probably get it better actually from this angle. I'll put this upside down now and show you. There, look. I had to play one out of, out of here this morning and, and I didn't play it very well because it was, it was much deeper than I was expecting when I played it. Yeah. So, so yeah, that, that is a big help. Still a par five second shot, and this is going to be. It is reachable. What, even, with, even out of that line, do you think? Yeah. You need loft though, don't you? We need a five iron. It's about probably 220. I have it seven iron here before, but hopefully you get a bit of a flyer. Just cut it off that bunker. Talking a good game, Mark, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, just cut. Don't draw, cut. <sighs> we'll miss the bunker then at least. Bunker, at least the shoes are looking good though, there's that. Oh, Mark Spriggs, stop it, how good's that? Oh, it's down there as well, isn't it? And there, ladies and gentlemen, is how you play a par five. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure actually if it's just, just stayed short, but that's two great hits, that's, isn't it? Yeah. That was five iron as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Very good. Do you think using the lower spin ball is helping? Yes. Yeah, it helps that you're obviously swinging good and things like that. A golf ball can't make all the difference. No, it can't. All the difference. It does make a difference, but not all the difference. And I need to say that on reviews because some people... I've certainly hit some good shots. I once took... Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but I once gave someone a lesson and he claimed that a golf ball gave him 25 yards off the tee and I was like, no. Sorry, Mabel, no. Mm. 25 yards on average. I would say it's possible given the confidence element. All right, right? yeah, like yeah. But not scientifically. Confidence. No, 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 it's not scientific. Yeah. It's, just it's actually okay that, you know, it's not in the bunker. It's just, you know what, an extra yard left and it would have kind of gone all the way around down to the green, but we'll take it. You see, I know it's my ball, Mark, you know how? A, because you're all the way over there, and B, because um, I can see the logo on it. So you're actually just short, Mark, aren't you? Which is a shame, but uh, I need to pull my finger out, I think, now. Right. Does look so good. You know, like down it. I don't, sometimes I have actually played. There has been times where I've hit a provisional and played a normal ball. And I must admit, I do miss looking down at that and kind of addressing it and seeing it and just just miss it, yeah. really. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's have a go. Quite surprised actually. More tall players don't use them. Imagine for tailor-made sales, if Rory used them and a few others who already use TP5, then it would uh, it would really help them. But go oh that's landed it's so soft oh chris would kill me there because i've hit lob wedge it's not a lob wedge i don't i, I thought about flying it but you know what I thought about flying it a bit longer i saw that video yeah because just like that no it's not is it it's not but the ball's great, honestly. Come on then, Spriggs, it shows what you're made of. Oh, that looks so good running out as well. Are you disappointed with that? Yeah. Good, that. Well in tour average, that you know. That's true. <laughs> I have to say, though, that was a very... The grass was very brown, quite, quite yeah. on the top there, quite thin. Um, but it was helpful, the, having the picks on the ball. Oh, yeah. Um, because it's very easy for me to thin. So, depth miss, perception. Miss hit, miss hit the ball from that sort of a lie. Yeah. But... Yeah, very good. Right, well, I'm, I think I need this now, don't I? This was the second one, which was still rubbish. And let's see if Mr. Bolt can help us. Should I game this? I don't feel like I can. Well, at least I've not left myself a 40-foot left-to-right sidewinder for a half when I'm already one down. 
This isn't even for a half, is it? Because if you haul yours... Oh yeah, it would be for a half, wouldn't it, if you haul yours? Oh, it's getting close. It's not hard enough. It's not hard oh, The line was perfect, wasn't it? Good line. Is that a circle of friendship? I'll give you that. <laughs> I'll give you that. Right, Mark. This is for it. This could be the shortest match ever. But I do feel like we've given a very good in-depth, long-term and short-term review of the tailor-made Pix golf ball. Oh, that roll. <laughs> that roll was so good. Just do that again. I'm, obviously, you've won. Congratulations. Do that put again. I want to show them the roll because it was unbelievable. Pressure's on now, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to follow this ball all the way in, Mark. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you hold it again anyway. <laughs> So, you know what? Very good, very good. Thank I think we'd love to do that, aren't we? Guys, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you've enjoyed that. To be honest, what is my long-term review, in a couple of words, elevator pitch? Very good. Has some imperfections, but you'd expect that because it's sort of a first, well, second generation, because there were some, yeah, there were some other ones, but um, I wish I'd have kept the ones to show you, but then the four, good. four left. Good, four it, left, um, yeah. I only had like seven dozen to go through, so. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you do want to be on the chance of winning uh, 10 lots of kind of trial balls so you can test them for yourself and let me know. 15, it was 15, it's 15. If you want to be on the chance of winning 15 trial sets, guys, make sure you do comment below pics, like this video. You have to be a subscriber. Mark, thank you so much for your time. That's all right, James. Really, That's really fine. good. What are your thoughts? My thoughts? I like it. Yeah? I like it, yes. I, I can't believe it's taking this long. I can't believe I didn't give you some before, to be fair, but I can't believe it's taking this long to try them as well. Yeah, yeah. Well... I might try them properly. Longer. Longer. <laughs> yes, yes, I do. Guys, thanks again, and make sure, make sure, I don't know where I'm going with that, um, stay safe, I suppose. Apart from that, guys, I'll very much look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Um, how cool are they? And how cool is that? Bye.